What's up everybody? Hope all y'all are doing all right. Well, my good camera's at home. It's almost dead, so I put it on the charger so I got my phone. And look at this. I hate every time I wear a black shirt and I brush my teeth. It's always some toothpaste gets, toothpaste gets on me. It sucks. Anyways, I got tagged, and this is the second tag that I've got. Now, I'm usually left out on these tags. All the people in the community just put the old preacher to the side. Why is that? Where y'all at? No, I'm joking. But I got tagged by Shopping Crafty. Y'all make sure y'all check out her channel. I, she got a, she did a video on this. She tagged me in it. She was tagged in it by some other people. I'll put the links in the description below. I'm sure y'all have already seen the tags. I'm like late to the game. But uh, it, the tag is, what's the dumbest thing you've ever spent money on? And there are so much things that I can think of right now. Now, I bought a lot of guns. And when I say a lot of guns over the years since I turned 18, 40, 50 maybe, that's not dumb things. That's great things because I'm a collector. Let's get to the dumb things. And my wife would say it's dumb, some of the guns I bought. But I slowed it down a lot. Christmases and birthdays and side jobs. But uh, the dumbest thing I've ever spent money on, well, y'all know my story. Before I met my wife, I bought a lot of stuff. Four-wheelers, motorcycle, cars, old four-wheel drive trucks. But I ain't talking about then. Uh, I guess the dumbest thing I spent money on was right before I started the Dave Ramsey plan, August, I mean, March 2015, it is September 2006, October 2016 right now. Man, my mind's gone. It's been a long day. Um, that's when I started the Dave Ramsey thing. Well, two or three months before that, actually just two months before that, my wife had a 2011 Kia Sportage. We only owed like 12.5 on it. It only had like 50,000 miles on it. And I had a 93 S10 four-wheel drive. It was in immaculate condition. I got it off of a man like in 2014 who had passed away. And it was just one of his little trucks. It had like 60,000 original miles on it. And I paid $3,500 for it. And I only owed like 1,000 on it when I sold it. Well, January 2015, I sold the truck, which I shouldn't have. Nothing was wrong with it. Sold it because I wanted a four-door, four-wheel drive, big truck. So I went and spent 12000 on the truck I've got now. And actually, after financing and everything, it ended up being like $14,500. Well, I told my wife, I said, well, you know, my sister and your sister has both gotten these new Dodge vans. They're so nice. The doors open up on their own. The, the uh, back flips up on its own. Uh, you know, the kids are growing, soccer and baseball, and we're always traveling, always having kids over. This little Kia Sportage only holds like four or five people. Uh, let's get the van so we can haul more kids, you know, and stuff. So I said, let's go do it before this shows up on my credit report. Because back then, I've, I've always been, oh, I've got my good credit. I can buy anything I want because of my credit. I may not make a killing, but I can get anything I want because of my credit is so great. So here I am, just added 12000 well, actually $14,000 of debt in my truck. We got her Kia Sportage, which is a perfectly beautiful vehicle, ran perfect, had a 100,000-mile Kia warranty on it, only owed like $12,000 on it. We go and trade this nice vehicle for a $28,000 van. Did they give us all the, the twelve or 13000 we owed? No, they only gave us like eleven five and tacked on that extra 2000 onto the... I think it was like a 25, we got another 25, ended up being like 27, 28, and once it was financed, it was over $30,000 for a van. So that's two of the dumbest things that I've personally purchased. It's in my name right now, and just think. And the reason I started the Dave Ramsey thing is I added a $325 a month payment, and then my van payment was $355. That's $700 a month, plus at this time, I just had to get into Obamacare because the year before, I didn't pay for insurance. But being self-employed, I had to pay for Obamacare, which was like almost $500 a month. So all this hit at once, and I thought, oh my God, what have I done? I've went too fast and jumped the gun and added all this stuff. I can afford to pay it, but we're not going to have much money left over. So here I am a year and a half later still paying on this junk, and I owe, only owe $8,900 on my truck. But it's at the shop right now getting looked at, and it may be another three to $5,000 expense to get that fixed. I owe $21,000 on the van now. And we're keeping it forever. It's got a lifetime warranty on the motor and the transmission. We're keeping it forever, never getting rid of it. I told my wife, we're keeping it forever. Even if the wheels fall off, I'm putting new wheels on it and driving it again. And, of course, whenever I can figure out what's wrong with my truck and get it sold and get that out from under me, I'll only like the van, our land payment, which will be paid off next summer, um, her student loan, and um, credit card. Four. If I can get rid of that truck, 
and the credit card and the land will be paid off next summer, which will only leave two the van and her student loan. So those are the two dumbest things I bought was vehicles. You know why? I mean, we can talk about little things. Of course I bought little things, but that don't matter. Something that you're stuck into making monthly payments and you have to remind yourself every time I go and give $355 or go give $325, $325 for my truck, I have to remind myself I was so stupid back then. Thank God I got a new mindset and I'm not ever going back. And if we ever get another vehicle, I'm gonna pay cash. Holler at y'all later. God bless you. Make sure you go check out Shopping Crafty. Make sure you go check out all the other cool channels I put in the description below. There's so many good ones in this community. Everybody is wonderful, and they're all trying to reach the same goal. And we will all reach the same goal. God bless you. Hope you have a blessed weekend. Jesus still in the saving business. I may be in debt down here, but I'm forgiven of my, my sin debt. Amen. God bless you. See y'all.